the reason why I was really interested in surrealism and diving into this is because so many of the uh, individuals that were involved in surrealism were directly impacted by World War I. And when I got home from my deployment to Kuwait and Iraq in 2004, I was really moved and inspired by the work that I saw um, from World War I veterans. And that inspired me to start making historical links between the work that veterans were making today and the work that was being made in just after World War I. So surrealism in war um, was really sparked off by this piece here uh, by Jim Leedy. And Mr. Leedy had participated in some of the surrealist exhibitions in Europe um, earlier on during the surrealist movement. And so we wanted to pull out that history, connect World War I all the way to the current conflicts. And so we brought an intergenerational group of veterans together to talk about the connections between those individuals that are coming home from war and how they're expressing it in relationship to this idea of surrealism. I really think that what's magical and amazing about this piece is how despite all this violence and all this death and, and it's really holding the weight of a mass grave, you have this moment of hope with the geese flying away at the end of the piece. That despite all this destruction, there's still that hope. This is the exquisite corpse of the unknown veteran. And the exquisite corpse game is one that goes, predates the surrealist movement, uh, but the surrealists kind of really took hold of. And they brought it into drawing where one person would draw the top of a figure, another person would draw the body, and the last person would draw the feet. And we pulled from that and we asked veteran artists to think about a veteran in their lives or any veteran throughout history, whether it's a US or otherwise, and begin an exquisite corpse about them and invite other artists to finish their corpse. This is done by veterans at San Jose State University and it was started by Mark Pinto and it's called The Unknown Suicides. And so it really kind of highlights and talks about veteran suicide from different returning combat veterans. This is Robin Murray's work. She's a Iraq veteran. It's called Indoctrination, and her work really ties into the history of surrealism, um, specifically all this collage work that she's doing from her military manuals that she's literally placing on her uh, body and making a body cast. Um, in some ways, you can think of Frida Kahlo's body cast that she would draw on and make surreal images with. Surrealism in itself is really about exploring the irrational and bringing that forward because the rational can't necessarily explain everything that's happening in our society. And that was true during World War I, it was true during World War II, and throughout the modern eras to the current conflicts. You can't necessarily rationalize the Iraq War. Uh, perhaps many media pundits and politicians try to, but the experience of that war is something that doesn't fit into a nice rational box. And those experiences are irrational and ones that take a lot of creative energy to actually express and deal with and talk about. And that's what this show is about. This program is partially supported by a grant from the Illinois Arts Council, a state agency.